Wake up to the sound of your fleeting heart. <laughs> My name is Kartika. Um, I'm originally from Tamil Nadu, but uh, my family stays in Bangalore solely for the purpose of working. Um, IDI is a student-run movement which empowers underprivileged students to get into top national law schools in the country today and supports them in their journey thereafter. IDA volunteers from NLS came to our school and they you know, made us aware about law, what law is as a profession and what IDIA is doing uh, to promote law, especially to people who are you know, basically backward in society. My life is yours, but your Training and teaching aspect is the core of IDIA. We train and you teach these students who are very motivated, who are very bright, who are talented. The only thing they lack is a financial access. And we'll hate what we've lost, but we'll love what we find. And oh, I'm feeling fine. We made it to the coastline. I'm a student from Hindi medium, so if a student come in IDIA who, who, who is having a Hindi medium background, then I understand that what he feels when he attend when he attend first time a class in English. You live like your love wasn't meant for mine. I think the success of IDIA comes from the fact that our scholars right now are doing pretty well in whichever institutions that they are in. We're not just bringing in students uh, into the law schools, into the premier law schools, getting them uh, educated in a five-year formalistic program and then saying, we've done our job. In fact, that's just the beginning. The larger picture is really uh, that we continuously mentor, handhold, guide and support them uh, to effectively take their place as community leaders. When you go yourself for sensitizations or training these students, then you start generating interest and you understand the true value of uh, what IDI uh, proposes to do. After you meet these kind of people, like people with so much motivation, you realize that like we what we are doing is insignificant. individual people who willingly and voluntarily sponsor these children and I think that's a very noble thing to do because in effect when you just donate money that's something but when you donate money towards education you're you're making sure that your investment is going to recall a lot of benefits in the future.